Hi, I'm Dewan Sanders, defensive coordinator here at Virginia State University Football. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about reading the triangle, a little inside linebacker play. You'd be amazed at how many linebacker coaches don't understand the concept or how to work the triangle drill as it appears to one back or two back sets. So uh, I learned a long time ago as a graduate assistant at Linebacker U, it was very important to make sure that you understand how inside linebacker play work. So let's get started here. Here at Virginia State, we will work that every day. We will employ it just like we do tackling every day. It is important that these inside linebackers be great ones. Okay, let's draw up a typical box. We're gonna start off with one back and we're gonna understand the system first, okay? Now, I'm gonna put a regular one shade, a three, fives, and of course these A gap and this B gap or 10 technique or 30 technique belongs to your backers. Here to the, touch, to the strong side to tackle, we're gonna have our Mike linebacker in the 10, and we're gonna have our Will linebacker in the 30. Okay, reading the triangle, these are the things you want to see. First of all, versus one back set. There is no cross color key or cross flow you can get with one back in the backfield. No split zone look. So it becomes very easy with this one. We will go at feet moves and run zone that way. All we would do is go ahead on and fit our gap, stay inside out on the ball. We would call that toad here at Virginia State. Track of back. Track of back. There's only one back. So let's make sure we understand there is no offset back here where you can get split flow or any type of counter action. Now you're in trouble because you're going to get your two backers running into each other. So the first step is reading the track of the back, which at that point in time, it's not even necessary to read those guards. Okay? Because the back versus run is going to take you there. He is your guard. So again, to recap, one back set, we're going to read track of back. These two linebackers and Mike and that William, they're going to go ahead and they're going to eye that guy. They're going to eye that one back back there. Any flow, they're going to work inside out on the ball to flow. Any questions? Great. Now, we're going to move on to two backs. Two back set. Here. Now, this is where some of the confusion can come in at. And it will come. All right, got your one shade of three and two fives. Of course, what? My A gap belongs to my Michael and my B belongs to my William. Okay? Now, with the two back, you can get some sort of split back flow where he's coming back. If that happens and he's reading this guy and he's reading that guy, you hear a lot of guys uh, say, hey, let's read the flow. Read the flow. Flow? If he's reading flow to his near back, Boom, he's going that way. He see him going that way. Boom, you just have a major train track collision. We can't have that. We have to have outstanding inside back to play. So with two backs in the backfield, you'll see that we will go ahead and now really will be called the triangle. Now you begin to read your guards because now these guards will take you to the play. Because the confusion is back there with the two backs. Now, let's talk about how to read those guards. We're going to talk about base, defending the base block. We're going to talk about defending the down, the reach, pass block, and of course the pull. Those are the five basic fundamentals of how to take on the triangle. Now here we go. Base block, we're going to go ahead and know that it's going to be difficult with a three shade there, but let's just say for whatever purpose, he comes off and gives us the base block look. He knows that this is his A gap and that's his B gap. We're going to go ahead and meet him and butt him in the gap. We're going to put those eyes on him, we're going to butt, shoot, hands, shock him, but we're going to make sure we keep the arm to the gap 
free. The arm to the gap free, that is base. He came at me, the linebacker, the, the triangle said, he came to me, I meet him. His head go, I should surely be there. Now, let's look at, that is your base block. Let's look at the down, okay? And with the down, you're going to get a pull that comes with it, all right? Now, let's look at that down block. We got our wheel back there in the mic. Let's say that guy blocks down. We get some down block movement. And this guy pulls over to kick out that in. All right? Now, read the triangle. He gets the down block. The rule states, you get the down block, you step opposite. So he gets the down block, boom, I'm going to step opposite right now. All right? So we get down block, go to step opposite, down block, step opposite. He pulled. Okay? When you draw the line up, he pulled. So they added a plus one on this guy. He's a plus one add. Well, he's going to outnumber me, gentlemen. So the triangle teaches me he add one, I add one. So he's gap over, plus one. Now my numbers put me ahead. Okay? So I got a guy that step low, he step opposite. He's going to read what we call CC, cloudy to clear. So that end is going to squeeze properly. Hopefully one good guy, that, that tackle, one good guy takes two guys. And we demanded at Virginia State that he takes two. So he's going to go ahead and base that guy up. He's going to put that hip in the gap. All right, we're going to create turbulence right here, a pile, no movement. Okay, that defensive end is going to squeeze real tight. Now we're building what, gentlemen? A wall there. Once that wall is built, no movement here. We want to split them. You know, we got guys like Coach Kirksey. Those guys want to split that. And you want to just lay on the ground here. So read the triangle. We're going to step opposite. We're going to build a wall here. He's going to squeeze. He's going to work from cloudy. If it's cloudy in there, he can see it. He always stay about a yard and a half from him. I don't want him sticking his nose up there. He'll get caught in the trash. So we're going to go from cloudy to clear. He sees that the base, the wall is there. He's going to work straight to clear now. And that Michael is going to be on clear. And he's what? He's cut back linebacker because he went gap over. So did I. That guard is probably going to come back. And we want to butt his behind back into the gap. He isn't coming off for no reason, gentlemen. He's coming off to seal that backside, that backside backer. So he has to know, I'm hauling and I'm coming on. I'm going to butt his behind. And what's the three ways we protect the gap here at Virginia State? With our eyes, our body, or our opponent's body. He's going to, and what? That builds what? A wall. There is no cutback in there. He has to go to what we call here at Virginia State, State, expand. We always want the ball to go to expand because guess what? There are no touchdown goals out here. If every touchdown goal is laterally, the game cannot be won. We love the touchdowns that go sideline to sideline. We'll run you down here. Great team speed. Okay, now we just talked about the base and the down with the pull. Now we're going to talk about the reach. Let's clear this board up a little bit. Okay, let's just draw a standard box here. And let's just say we get, without putting those guys there, let's say we get reached. All right, here, here, reach. Okay, what we're going to do when we reach, we're going to butt them in the V of the neck. We're going to butt them in the V of the neck versus the reach block. So we here, we watching that hat the whole time. Eyes big, we're going to work the triangle. All right, that go reach. We've got six inch steps, boom, all right? Here, I'm going to work. Boom, 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 boom. Hit him in the V of his neck. When the head go, the body should surely follow. Trust that. So I'm going to hit him in the V of his neck, and I'm going to spin his behind back in the gap. I don't like it when you necessarily say run over the top linebackers. A good offensive line, when you're running over the top, they're going to push you past the play. And a good running back is going to see it, and he's going to what? He's going to cut up on you. All right? So we're going to butt you in the V of the neck here. We're going to put our eyes in the V of the neck. And when we put our eyes in the V of that neck, all right, hit that vortex right there. I'm going to go in on butt him in the V of the neck. Now that pushes his body in. Now I'm going to get across him now with the rip. Okay? 
across him now with the rip. So what? I put his big behind in the gap. What we said, our body, our eyes, or our opponent bodies. That's how you defend the pull. So at practice, you just put those guys up here, put your mic in your will, get your guards, and you get what? You work your base, right? You work your down block with the pull. He step opposite. He's gap over, correct? And now you got what? Two pulls, all right? And he hit the, I mean, two reaches, and he hit the V of the neck on the reaches. All right? Now let's talk about two guards pulling. Again, you'll see our linebacker coach will run that, will uh, do that every day. When you get the down blocks and two guards pulling, now inside out on him, hit the V of the neck, right? And put his behind back in the game. There's no difference between the down pull and double pull. Okay, finally, the pads. Standard box. You see him get the kick step for pads. Okay, that mic and that will is going to take a six inch step to check run. He's going to take that six inch step to check run. Boom, it's not there. Then he's going to open and go into his drop. So our coach is looking for that. Because guess what? They'll cheat the drill. That's why you mix them up every day. You mix them up. Don't cheat my drill backers. Okay? So when he does that, you'll see him open check run. Because we play run first. And then we're going to open on 45s. Okay? Until our standard drop. You've heard me talk about these things, guys. We're very passionate about that here at Virginia State. I hope that some of this information can help you guys out. It is important to us that we share great things uh, to make your time easier, to make it very learnable and fundamentally sound. Thank you.